Hello friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create a list and this list will be like a category from which we can transfer data from that list to another activity. So the content of this activity that we'll have in a list, we can able to get it from that list and show it in another activity. So you learn quite a number of things from this tutorial. The first one is coming up with a list. The second one is using shared preferences or intent to transfer information to another activity. Then you also learn how to, of course, change the activity. So to get started, just grab a sketchware, any sketchware that you would want to use, even the official one. Then let's create a project. Let's create a sample project. Let's call this one, what should we call it? Uh, dummy create okay our dummy project is open so we need a list this list can act as categories or whatever you'd want to have in the list so you can choose whichever list you want the list view recycler view or grid view but this tutorial let's go with the recycler view unlike the list view the recycler view is really fast and as the name suggests recycles the content which means it never gets slow even when the content is a lot here now i'm creating a custom view this custom view will contain a text so let's call it custom click on add then let's quickly add a text view on our custom view like that let's go back to our main xml then we need to connect our recycler view to the custom view so just select the custom view here and select the custom view you just created which we called custom select then let's go to event view and add on bind custom view there so the custom view has been bound to our recycler view so now let's go to on create and load some content to our recycler view and also attach a layout manager to the recycler view so let's go with set layout manager select your recycler view then we get the content select the recycler view then let's create a list map let's call it list map let's call it list map add so here we go we have our list map there you can select it list map so we are loading content to a recycler view which is in list map so let's add some content now let's call the key category category then we can have names of fruits let's say mango okay like that mango so the key is category let's go back to unbind and here we need to set params for our recycler view i want the width to match parent and the height to wrap content like that then i want the text view that we added earlier text view one to show the category so we get value at position with the key category remember the key we just added category from the list map okay so now we added mango to our list map in on create let's go back then we run this and see if that mango gets added to the list view run it seems like we've got an error let's check it 
the import okay so we need to turn on up compact so that we can be able to use recycler view let's turn it on there and now run the project so you know most of the times when you're developing you run into problems and if you cannot read the bugs it's difficult for you to actually find your way through so i think it's actually better when you're developing and you're able to read the log card and debug yeah and the the way the error log in sketch is it's very easy to understand and to locate an error let's install it allow unknown sources if you're prompted to open it and there we go so you can see we've got our mango there it has been added to our recycler view let's just increase the font of that text view and add more options to this recycler view so we only have mango let's add uh, four more so just duplicate that then let's change the values of this category key let's have pear let's have apple Let's have banana, banana, and the last one should be which which fruit do I like? Uh, I just like the orange. I don't love it. I like orange. Okay, so we have more categories there. Keep in mind the key should be the same. Otherwise, you get a crash when calling a key if the keys are different so the values can be different but the key should be the same let's go back i said i wanted to increase the size of the text so here let's set the text size to about 16 save and run as we run this when it's complete we install it you should notice that the categories we just added will appear in the list and the size will also be increased so we have tackled the first part of our tutorial which is coming up with the list and loading it to recycler so now you know to initialize a recycler and add content to it offline of course install open there we go you can see our list as we added it in sketchware mango pear apple banana orange and the font size has increased okay so now we are going to the next part of this tutorial which is to get from this list you get the content take it to another activity and display it there so for example if we to click on mango or pear or apple banana or orange i'm supposed to transfer the name in this list to another activity if i press for example apple i want the apple to be shown on another activity so to do that we're going to use shared preference which when we click on apple we save the content of the text view into the shared preference and show it on another activity so let's go back to sketchware and create another activity so go to view we're going to create an activity and not a custom activity so here let's call this activity view this is the activity in which the content that we carry from our list will be shown so just add that you can see now we have two activities the main activity 
which contains our list and the view activity from which we'll be able to view the content from the list. Okay, so let's quickly design the view activity. Let's play with the uh, no, let's, you, let's put a linear V, make it much parent in width and height. You can see both we are matching parent. This means it fills the whole canvas there. Then we want the content to be centered. Okay, so here let's quickly add a text view. This text view will display the content that we get from our list. There. So we are done with designing our view. Let's go back to main activity where we have our list. Let's go to component and add shared preferences. Shared preferences. Let's call it transfer. So the shared preference can store data in it and can be collected anytime. You can name it anything, but for you to follow this tutorial closely, just do as I do. Call it transfer, transfer. Then go to view activity as well. Add the same shared preference with the exact name. Transfer. Transfer. And add it. Okay, so there we go. You can see in the view activity we have our shared preference. And in main activity we have the shared preference. So to get the data from our main activity which contains the list, let's go to unbind custom view and add a click listener. On click listener. You can find the click listener on variable of view. There, select the text view which of course is the one when clicked will take us to another activity. So here we need to add a shared preference in which we set the data to our shared preference from the content of list map at position. So in this case the category at the particular position which we click and let's give it a key category and save. So the shared preference transfer will have a key category with a value of the category in list map. For example, mango. Okay, now we need to add the logic to go to the other activity which is the view activity. So to change the screen or activity, you need to add an intent. Let's call this intent go. Add. So to change activity now, we need to set screen and start activity. So select the intent there, which we just added, and select the class. The class is the activity. So select the activity you want to go to, like that. And we are done here. So what will happen is when we click the text view, it will get the data at that position and go to view activity. Then now we need to handle this data that we're just transferring here to the view activity so that it is displayed in view activity. So let's quickly go to view activity. In view activity, remember we added a text view. So let's just go on, on create and receive the data from the other activity. So we need to set text. This sets the content which we get from the previous activity on text view one. So getting data from a shared preference, we use the get data key block and choose our shared preference, which is transfer and put in the exact key that we previously put in the other activity like that. Transfer category. With this, we are able to get the data to another activity and display it there. So let's run this and see what we get. I hope you're understanding. The logic is actually very simple. And once you learn these, which are the basics of Sketchware, you will soon be a guru of Sketchware. 
most of the work that we do in development is actually the easier tasks than anything complicated. So you see, once we click on the list, we'll be able to collect the data on the other activity. Let's install. And open. Okay, so there we go. We have our list. Now, since we included the on-click listener, it means once we click on any of these options, we get the value of it and go to the view activity. So let's click on banner, on banana. There we go. We have gone to the view activity and we have got banana there. Let's go back and try another one. Let's try mango. Click on mango. There we go. You can see mango displayed. So the same applies with Apple. It means whichever item you click on the list, we get the content. Of course, the content is the text view itself there through shared preferences so that's all with this tutorial at least you've learned a number of things how to come up with a list how to initialize a recycler view how to change activity how to save data and shared preference and of course how to create a list map so in the next tutorial i will advance this and we'll look at how to save how to retrieve content saved in a shared preference and also how to transfer the same data using an intent and we'll also discuss the difference between the intent and the shared preference so that you can have an insight even as you are developing you know which one to use at what time.